In this tutorial, what we're going to go over are some more of the selection tools. Previously, we looked at using the Move tool and the Marquee tool. And right now, we're going to look at the Lasso tool and the Quick Selection tool. And so that's the magic wand. So we'll look at those options. What we're going to look at is the Lasso tool. Basically, this is a, a freehand way to make selections. Uh, it's pretty tough to do. I'm just going to give you an idea here. You got to use your mouse, click and drag, and it's not the best method. You got to have a pretty steady hand, so I rarely would suggest using that method. Um, the next one, and this one I find quite useful, the polygon lasso tool. Works similar to a end to click, click where you want it, and you can go ahead and make your selections that way. Works well with straight edges uh, with curves it can be a little more difficult again just to review we also have our options up here we can create a new selection add to selection subtract and intersect we also have keyboard shortcuts if you hold down the alt button while you make a selection you will subtract from it the current and if you hold down the shift button, you will add to the current selection. So those are just some some shortcuts there. Um, and then we also have the magnetic lasso, which snaps to the wrist. Uh, it uses a combination of colors and shapes. Edges is what it tries to find. And it can be a little rough. If it's not a well-defined area, this might not be the best tool. Uh, you can see in the control panel, we can set the contrast. So the higher the contrast, um, the more strict it's going to of a contrast it's going to look for. The frequency is the rate at which the little points are set. So let me give you another example. So you can see it sets little points. Frequency higher the number. The more points, the closer they're going to be. Um, again, this this is a good tool in the right situation. Uh, as you can see here, when I'm trying to select the the back of this box, uh, it's actually snapping to the hinge. So this this tool you have to use it with caution. Uh, the next tool we have here, let's let's use the magic wand first. And if you've used Illustrator, this is similar to that selection tool where you click once on a certain cup and it will do its best to select all the colors in the image that are the same. So I clicked in a blue area here. You can see it picked up blue in the floor on the carpet here. It picked up some blue in the newspapers. Um, just to give you an idea, if I were to remove that, you'd see what it all selected. Now this has some options here too. Tolerance. The higher the tolerance, basically the larger the range of colors it's going to, to accept. The anti... Or, um, you can take a sample from all layers, not just the current. So those are some of the the more important ones here um, but again because we're working with JPEG images and and photos there's lots of variations there's lots of gradients um, so this usually isn't your best option unless you're working with solid colors and maybe a logo um, so I try to Stay away from that. There's just better options. And one of my favorite selection tools is the quick selection tool. And basically, it just uses a brush. Uh, you can increase it and decrease it right up here just by using the slider. And you can see if I wanted to box, just click and drag. And it does its best to select it. Now, Again, same way, cut. just use Alt to subtract from the selection, Shift to add, uh, to get really precise, 
and you can just decrease or brush that a little bit and there you go uh, now if I wanted to move that to another layer I'll just go to the layer menu new and you have two options layer via copy layer via cut maybe copy and you'll see in the layer menu that I have this new layer. I'm going to just hide the original background to get a better idea of what we selected. And there you go. So that is how we use the lasso tool and the quick selection tool.